This group of robbers with only a few toy guns robbed the famous Rio Bank, surrounded by more than 100 police officers, and escaped with millions of dollars. What's even more shocking is that this is based on real events, and the mastermind of the heist is the screenwriter of this movie. He made a movie of the entire theft process. His modus operandi is legendary. The story begins on a rainy night. A speeding car splashes Ruben with water. He threw away his cigarette in anger. Cigarette butts drifted with the rain. It flowed into the bottom of the well. Ruben looked up. In front of him was the famous Rio Bank. He followed the direction of the water. He ran all the way to the outskirts. He found a huge drainage hole. He had a crazy idea. He was going to rob the bank, but he couldn't do it on his own. He found Mike the engineer and Daniel the thief. The three of them went to the manhole cover in front of the bank, put the tape measure down the well cover. After measuring, the underground passage is only 18 meters from the ground. Then using the bicycle tire, measure the distance from the manhole cover to the bank gate. Then using the Pythagorean theorem, calculate the length and angle of inclination. The route was planned. Several people went to the underground passage. Find the right place and start digging the hole. The next step was to get familiar with the layout. Ruben decided to take the risk. He took his camera to the bank, aimed at all directions, taking pictures everywhere. This perverse behavior soon attracted the attention of the security guards. He was forcibly taken to the security room. You think he's done for? That's not true. This was all part of his plan. Because because the location of the vault, right next to the security room, and he used this opportunity to, to get a good feel for the area. By the time the police searched the camera, he had already hidden the memory card. When he got home, Ruben drew up a diagram of the bank structure. But there was still a problem. How to open the lock on the safe? The locks of the bank are specially tailored, to open only by brute force. But this will trigger the alarm. It will increase the risk of action. The plan was at a standstill. On this day, Ruben was lying in his car, looking at the stars in the sky. I've got it. Since we can't avoid the alarm, we'll just rob the bank and set off the alarm. It takes two minutes for the police to arrive at the scene. Then use the hostages to stall for time. Then take the opportunity to transport the money through the hole in the ground. And the police outside won't know what they've done in the bank. It works. They can't wait to start robbing banks.